Hey there. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm Mike. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I was just going through my library here. I was trying to find a, a good movie to watch. Um, but last night I found a really good movie in my library. And uh, this is a movie you may have heard of. You may have not heard of. But it's got a really good Eureka Masters of Cinema release Blu-ray. It's been out for a few years. Uh, but man, this is a great movie. I love it. Every time I watch it, I just I really like it a lot more. More, it's just, mm, it's real good. Uh, but the movie I'm talking about is uh, Violent Saturday from 1955. Is it 55 or 56? Gosh dang it. I think it's 55. It's weird. The case is in all red, so the font is really... It's hard to read. Yeah, 55, I believe. Um, it's kind of... It's hard... Man, this movie's kind of a... Kind of a drama slash film noir slash like, uh, you know, crime caper movie. Uh, gangster movie. I don't know. It, it, it's a little bit of everything, but it, it's everything very well. You know, the drama part's not too melodramatic. You know, and the film noir part of it, or the crime part of it, it's, 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 you know, done very well. I mean, yeah, how many, how many times have you seen a bank robbery in a, in a movie, uh, but done this well? I mean, this is really good. So, yeah, Violent Saturday, I mean, this is from Eureka Masters of Cinema. Um, it stars Victor Mature, uh, Stephen McNally, Richard Egan. Um, it's also got... Um, it's not listed here, but it's got uh, Lee Marvin in it. Uh, he's got a pretty good little role in there. I mean, this was about the time he was, you know, making a lot of uh, westerns and stuff like that. And he'd kind of be one of the henchmen or one of the baddies or something like that. And uh, he's really good in this. And what really makes his character stick out is that he's got this thing where he's, he keeps using, an, you know, like a Vicks inhaler stick. You know, it's like, was it menthol or something and he keeps and he's got a runny nose and all that stuff so you're kind of thinking what is all what is all that is he like a like a drug addict is he you know needing a fix or something like he's trying to do this crime caper to get some money to do something or is it just allergies to the area i'm not really sure because it, it takes place in um what is it arizona i believe it's it's out southwest somewhere i believe and uh, but yeah, his character is really interesting. Uh, it's also got the great character actor uh, J. Carroll uh, Nash in it too, and uh, he was he's been in dozens of westerns. I mean, he's and he's also just been in. Gosh, he probably did over a hundred and some movies in his career. He had a long career, and um, he did a lot of stuff. A lot, sometimes you don't recognize him. Sometimes you do. Um, I heard that he does, he would do his own makeup, like with creating characters and stuff. But, but anyways, it's got a great little, uh, supporting cast. Victor, uh, Mature is really good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Ernest Borgnine's in this. And guess what? He plays an Amish guy, or an Amish guy, as they say in the movie. Uh, which is a really good performance. And again, at that time, uh, Ernest Borgnine was doing a lot of, you know, baddie work, uh, you know, being a henchman or a goon or something like that. He's done some good stuff. I think later on that year, he would break out with Marty, uh, even get like an Oscar nomination, I believe. Uh, or did he win? I think uh, one or the other. Uh, but what's funny is uh, Borgnine and Lee Marvin, they both teamed up in a couple of Westerns, actually uh, some Randolph Scott Westerns where they're both in it. I think it's, uh, shoot, I want to say Man in the Saddle or not Man in the Saddle. What is it? Uh, it's one of the movies that's got man in it. I know that don't help you. But anyways, real, really good. It's just got a great cast, okay? I could go on about it. But but anyways, it, it's really good. It's got a really good, um, it's only got two, two special features, but they're really good. One of them is actually a French uh, special feature that was on a release in France, I believe, but 
thankfully they had they got subtitles and stuff and it's really good actually um it's a it's a really well thought out um uh, essay you know video essay on the movie and stuff uh, really really good and then the uh the other one was about the director i believe um because it's richard fleischer you know uh he directed everything from conan the destroyer to oh man he, he just directed a lot of stuff he, he basically did every every genre there was he was a really good director with style and uh he really uses the the widescreen camera uh in this movie because uh you know they were really just starting to really experiment with widescreen at this time uh, it just came out two years previous uh, so he's really using his frame uh to his advantage kind of like sergio leone would do and he would fill the screen you know and really compose a picture you know and uh which is something that would suffer on tv back then because it would be all lopped off and stuff and it probably looked bad and people probably didn't like the movie or something because it was it looked bad or something uh, but you know that was a lot of movies back then. But anyways, Violent Saturday. It's a it's a good uh, caper movie. Um, these three four guys come in uh, to this town. They're going to rob this bank, um, and basically it just it just falls apart at the end. Uh, I mean there th there's a lot of good stuff in this man. There's so much good stuff in it. It's like I don't want to tell you everything so you'll check this movie out, but also just didn't want to say, "Hey, go check this movie out, would you?" Please. <laughs> but anyways, Violent Saturday guys, check it out. Um it, it's in color. It looks I mean it I think it looks great, but it's it's kind of got that uh uh, I'm trying to think of what film what they used. What was the process? Because I think this was 20th Century Fox. Yeah, 20th Century Fox released this. But anyways, it it, it looks. It's got the. It's basically des. You know, desert area. I believe it's in New Mexico or Arizona or something like that. Uh, but man, anyways, it's a good movie. I, I just. I don't want to tell you anything. I don't want to ruin it because I think this would really surprise you. And uh, I think this movie would also go really well with uh, Bad Day at Black Rock with Spencer Tracy, which it was actually the same year, 1955. And um, also Lee Marvin was in it as kind of a, you know, kind of a bad guy in it. So it's really cool. And both are great widescreen movies and um, done by a great director. So that would be a nice pairing if you want to check it out that way. Uh, but yeah, Violent Saturday, big recommendation. I give this four and a half stars. Um, if the, if it doesn't grab you the first time, I'm just saying it 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 got me at the beginning. Give it another try and stuff. Come back to it because it, it really it really breathes and it's it's just it's a great movie. It really is. It's one of those rewatchable one um this edition actually has the dvd in it also um i believe this came out about 10 years ago on eureka so um there you go guys that that's my little half-ass little uh recommendation but um but uh, i really mean it from the bottom of my heart you got to check that movie out it's really good violent saturday 1955 richard fleischer lee marvin victor mature um, Ernest Borgnon is playing an Amish guy. That is worth the price of admission. So there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Um, again, thumbs up if you love Lee Marvin. Let's see how many thumbs we can get on here. <laughs> and um, let me know in the comments, guys. Check out my channel um, and subscribe if you haven't already. So uh, until next time, guys, I'm Mike. Thank you for uh, stopping by my library. And um, now I'm going to go this way to the rest of my library.